So the general consensus surrounding BPD develops out of a trauma response from being raised in an invalid dating environment. Typically, where you never felt like you were good enough, you didn't have any friends, you felt like no one really liked you, you didn't really have a place in the world, you were the cause of the many problems of people around you, and a general sense of not being wanted, not feeling loved, and feeling like the world would be better off if you were not around. Who's likely to experience this kind of trauma? Autistic people. Hi, it's Dr. Fox, licensed psychologist in the state of Texas. And in this video, we're going to talk about autistic spectrum disorder and BPD, these two disorders. So I've done a lot of research. I've done a real deep dive into these two disorders. And I think first, what we should do is not only break it down, but then talk about the distinction and overlap between these two disorders. So let's not talk about it anymore and let's get into it. Please, that comorbidity. Let's talk about that autism spectrum disorder and comorbidity. So we're gonna talk about the research first, then the clinical perspective. So research shows that most samples were of small clinical groups with the majority having a risk of bias. That means that these, these studies, they're not really put together well. The samples aren't great. They tend to be really small. And when you have small samples, you can't generalize that really well to the larger population. And the pooled prevalence of BPD in autism spectrum disorder was about 4% autistic spectrum disorder. Now, those with autistic spectrum disorder, now we have 100% of autistic spectrum disorder people or people with autistic spectrum disorder, you know what I mean. And you have about 3% of that group would qualify or show features of borderline personality disorder. And this is from those research studies that aren't really put together well, that the research methodology is not great. So it's not really generalizable. So we have three to 4%, eh? Where does that number come from? Tamara May et al. 2021. Prevalence of BPD in ASD 4%, ASD in BPD 3%. You have to keep that in mind. Now, research does not find a high degree of comorbidity between these two disorders. Rather than look at diagnostic statistics, let's take a look at traits. There's three different measurements, the SQ, the AQ, and the EQ. With borderline personality disorder, score high on the autism spectrum quotient, high on the systemizing quotient, and low on the empathizing quotient. And their scores are closer to the autistic scores than they are to the controls. And people with both conditions show exacerbated autistic traits. Having borderline personality disorder exacerbates autistic traits. People with borderline personality disorder will tend to have more autistic traits than the general population. In both conditions, you are going to see meltdowns. In both conditions, you are going to see high levels of emotional dysregulation. Both conditions lack impulse control, high rates of self-harm, issues reading and understanding emotions, trouble forming and maintaining healthy relationships.